Okay, today we're talking about installing a Torque RZ307 programmable timer switch. <laughs> Safety first, before conducting any electrical installs, be sure the power is turned off and wear PPE. So let's take a look at the instruction manual. Here's the ratings. Great thing about this particular programmable switch, it's good for 120 volts or 277 volts. Here's what the buttons look like up close. Here's your installation instructions. It could even be a three-way switch. And they provide you the wiring diagrams. We'll take a closer look at these in a minute. So here it is all wired up. See the blue wire is a be your power going out to the motor in this case. Black is hot 120 volts coming in. You can see I already got my ground chassis and my 120 volt ground spliced together per the wiring diagram. And I capped off the red traveler wire because we're not using it as a three-way switch. And I capped off the 277 volt ground wire because we're working on a 120 volt system, so we're only using the 120 volt ground, not the 277 volt ground. So let's take a closer look at our wiring schematic. You can see we have our hot wire coming in here, the black providing power to the switch. When the switch turns on, the blue wire is energized and sends power to the load, whether it's a light fixture or a small motor in this case. This switch does not require a neutral wire, Woo! which is nice. And again, you'll note on the wiring diagram, there are two different ground wires, a 277 and a 120 volt. Make sure you hook up the proper one depending on your circuit's voltage. This also shows how you'd wire it. If it's a three-way switch, you would use that red traveler wire. So with the power off, you can see our neutrals comes in, they're wired nutted together. That red wire is a spare 120 volt power leg we're not using in this air handler. We're just using this black 120 volt that goes to the motor there. Through this knockout into this J box where we'll connect the timer switch. So we'll make our wire connections and screw the switch to the box. I prefer a deep box. It gives you plenty of room for the switch and all your wire nut connections. Woo! And so on this air handler, they poke through. So again, black is black connects to the black power wire coming in. The blue is power going out to the motor. With the power on, we'll go ahead and test it, see if the motor turns on. Wow. I hope this video helps you. Please like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment, and thanks for watching.